Ah yes, England, the only place where it's actually fashionable to wear shorts for the body warmer. I mean it just completely defeats the purpose, you're either hot or you're cold. But whatever, whatever floats your boat. But anyways, in this video I'm going to talk about what it's like to live in this fine country. Question 1. Is it posh? Simple answer, no. I mean the cat's out the bag at this point, England is not a posh country, even kids wear balclavas. Yeah, like all countries, there is posh areas, but even those posh people can get a bit wild at times. I'm a cat oh. addict, oh. a total oh. cat addict. I mean it's no secret that as a nation we all do love drinking and partying. It's public information at this point, but it's all fun and games until someone takes it a bit too far. But you know, we we'll move. To be fair though, there is some really intimidating people from England. I wouldn't want to mess with these overs. We do get a lot of shit for some of our football banter, but to be honest, it's mainly good crack. Most people don't have bad intentions. Some people do take it a bit further than others, but you know, these things happen sometimes. So, the age old question. Do English people drink loads of tea and eat loads of crumpets? Well, it depends on the person really. Cheers Jeff. I haven't had a crumpet in like two years. I mean, they're all right, but they're not as popular as people think. When it comes to tea, I'll concede on this one. I started drinking tea about five years ago, and I haven't stopped since. It's almost as if, right? It's got this really addictive drug in it that makes you just want to have more and more. Do English people use the words oi, bruv, in sentences? It depends on the area, really, because bruv is more for London term. I mean, it's spreading, though, as time goes on. A little while ago I was in McDonald's and a gang of over aggressive preteens went up to us and said Oi wagwan bruv wagwan and it's like well we're in Sunderland, <laughs> we're in Sunderland not Peckham. I don't know why people are speaking like this now but you know whatever floats your boat, whatever flows best I guess. It's just slang, you know slang from different areas. Is the education system good? I mean it's not exactly a groundbreaking discovery but like most areas it really depends on what school you go to. But I guess most public schools are just full of drama. Miss, can I just tell you? I'm sorry to hear that your grandma passed away. I actually am like, I'm sorry, I'm going to be upset about that, ain't it? There's no hiding that England's education system isn't exactly perfect, especially when you got a good chunk of people who couldn't give a flying fuck about doing well. I want to get it It's a fucking sick pain. Do English people have bad teeth? There's this really common myth that people from England have really bad teeth, but it's actually pretty made up. In fact, England aren't even in the top 10 for the worst teeth, which is, you know, you'd be surprised considering how many people bang on and all the jokes you hear about British teeth and stuff and British smiles. But obviously there is people in England who don't have good teeth like all places, but this is just a myth, a stereotype, like most of these things on this list. In fact, I don't even think people really believe all of these stereotypes, it's mostly just people joking on. Besides, I think England's actually quite a good country to live in. I know people moan about it and I know obviously it has its flaws, but as a whole it's actually a good country, it's a lot safer than other countries and I think people take that for granted. On that note, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you do want to support us, you could like the video, share the video, or even subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But have a nice whatever, and I'll see you in the next one.